Knowledge, Domain 9, Lesson 2. Here are this lesson's learning targets. Our goals are, I can review information about the spice seekers. I can describe Christopher Columbus's planned route to the Indies and will identify King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain as supporters of Columbus. I can demonstrate an understanding of the word victorious. I can describe Columbus and his actions. Now, let's think about what we've already learned. Why did Europeans like Giovanni from the last read aloud want to travel to the Indies? Europeans wanted to travel to the Indies for spices, gold, and fine cloth. Though the Europeans preferred to travel through Constantinople to the Indies, the people of Constantinople stopped allowing Europeans from traveling through their city. So the Europeans instead decided to travel by sea. Why was it no longer possible to make the journey over land? The people of Constantinople stopped allowing Europeans to travel through the city. Traveling by ships hundreds of years ago was very difficult and very expensive. The richest people of the day were the kings and queens of Europe. So they were the ones who paid for the ships and the sailors to sail the ships. Today's read aloud is about a man named Christopher Columbus who tried to get money to sail a ship to the Indies. In today's read aloud, you'll hear about when Columbus visited the king and queen of Spain to ask for money. Who had the money to pay for ships and voyages? Kings and queens or sailors. Kings and queens. Who was Christopher Columbus? A king or a sailor? A sailor. In today's read aloud, you will hear the following new vocabulary words. Adventures. Adventures are exciting trips or experiences. Convince. Convince means to make someone believe in something. Fleet. A fleet is a group of ships moving or working together under one leader. Navigators. Navigators are people who map out a trip and make sure the ship or other vehicle stays on track. Victorious. Victorious means winning or successful. Christopher Columbus planned to sail from Europe to Asia, but he had a different idea about how to get there. He did not plan to sail around the dangerous coast of Africa. Listen carefully to find out how Christopher Columbus intended to reach the gold and spices of India. Now it's time to listen to today's read aloud, Ferdinand and Isabella. Now that the land route to Asia was closed, Kings and queens from all over Europe began looking for the best sea route to the treasures of the East. They greedily sought to claim rare and expensive Asian spices for their own countries. The race was on. In every European port, young navigators competed to lead adventures to Asia. They were anxious to try out new, lighter sailing ships that made it possible 
to fail faster and farther than ever before. One of these navigators was an Italian man named Christopher Columbus. Like all the others, he was an experienced sailor. What made Columbus stand out from the others was that he did not plan on reaching Asia by sailing around the coast of Africa. He had a very different idea. Christopher Columbus wanted to sail west across the Atlantic Ocean in order to reach the Indies. He visited several kings in different European countries, asking for their help. Laying out his map, he tried to convince them that his idea was a good one. For many years, Columbus tried unsuccessfully to get the support of the European kings and queens. The king of Portugal refused him. The king of Italy refused him. The king of England refused him. Only the Spanish seemed interested in his plans to sail across the Atlantic, but they turned him down too because Spain was at war and they had no time or money for Asian trade then. Columbus knew that he could not make the trip without their ships and money. Now, seven long years after Columbus first met with King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain, he became hopeful that his long wait was over at last. As he rode down over the mountains, Columbus recalled his first visit to the great Spanish city below. Spain had been at war then. Now the Spanish war was over and the Spanish king and queen had won. Columbus hoped that the victorious royal couple, newly rich with the treasures they had taken in war, would have the time, money, and attention to help him. At last, he thought, he might reach his goal of sailing west to the Indies. A Spanish army officer directed him to the large, fancy tents in which the king and queen were still living, for they had not even had time yet to move from their army camp into the palace. Still, they were hardly suffering. Their tents contained thick, beautiful carpets and full-sized beds. The royal couple sat upon thrones brought from their palace in northern Spain. They dined off plates made of silver, eating fine foods and drinking fine wine. Their many servants were there to take care of them. Most important, with the war over, Ferdinand and Isabella were too happy and proud to complain much about anything. They smiled as Columbus bowed before them and told him to rise to his feet. And now, Christopher Columbus, said the queen, let us talk about your plan of sailing west to the Indies. Columbus's heart leaped within him. The queen and the king must have talked it over, and now they were ready to help him act out his long-held plans. Columbus was going to search for the riches of the east by sailing west. He would be in charge of the whole fleet. Let's answer some questions from today's read aloud. Who were King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella? King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella were the rulers of Spain and helped make Columbus's voyage possible. Who was Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus was an Italian navigator who wanted to sail west to reach the Indies. What did Columbus think would be the best route for traveling to the Indies? Columbus thought the best route would be sailing west from Europe to get to Asia. Why did Columbus go to visit King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella? Columbus visited them to ask again for money to pay for his voyage. After being refused by many kings, 
who finally agreed to give Columbus the money for his adventure. King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain agreed to give him money for his adventure. Now it's time for some word work. In the read aloud you heard, Columbus hoped that the victorious royal couple would have the time, money, and attention to help him. Say the word victorious with me. Victorious. Victorious means winning and successful. When Joe scored the winning goal, his soccer team was victorious. Tell me about a time when you were victorious. Use the word victorious when you tell about it. I was victorious when... What is the word we've been talking about? Victorious. The opposite or antonym of victorious is defeated. Defeated means having lost or failed at something. I am going to read some sentences to you. If you would feel victorious in the following situations, say, I would feel victorious and give a thumbs up. If you would feel defeated, say, I would feel defeated and give a thumbs down. You were playing a game with your dad and you just beat him. I would feel victorious. You were playing a game with your older brother and he beat you. I would feel defeated. You were able to read a book all by yourself. I would feel victorious. Your team lost the baseball game. I would feel defeated. You just got an answer right. I would feel victorious. Now it's time to use what we've learned. We are now going to use today's read aloud to complete this chart. Who is the main person in this read aloud? That somebody is Christopher Columbus. What did Columbus want? Wanted. He wanted to travel west to get to the Indies. What made him unable to get what he wanted? But many kings and queens refused to give him money and ships to sail. What did Columbus do because many kings and queens refused him? So, he waited a long time, seven years. What happened after he waited for a long time? Then, the king and queen of Spain gave him money and ships. Now it's time to show what you've learned. What are some things you learned about Christopher Columbus in today's read aloud? On a sheet of paper, use a pencil, crayons, or markers to draw a picture of something you know about Christopher Columbus. That's our knowledge lesson for today. Let's review the learning targets of this lesson. Our goals are, I can review information about the spice seekers. 
I can describe Christopher Columbus's planned route to the Indies and will identify King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain as supporters of Columbus. I can demonstrate an understanding of the word victorious. I can describe Columbus and his actions. Happy learning!